hear many things as we grow, learn, and absorb more knowledge from the world around us. We may forget a lot of them, but the three that we will always remember are the people who touched our lives, the memories we made, and the stories that changed us. Stories are one of the most powerful ways of communicating. They stick to us so much better than a page of information. And it is so much more interesting than a bunch of facts. Even our ancestors knew the magic of stories. Because before we had written language, we would pass on our culture and our wisdom through oral tradition in the form of stories. Stories come in so many shapes and forms. Fairy tales and folklore, myths and legends, novels and comics, film and theater, even music. Storytelling is natural to us. It's in our blood. There are many benefits to reading, sharing, and telling stories. Firstly, stories via our imagination and make us more creative. I've always loved to draw and sketch, but after reading a lot of graphic novels, I'm inspired to create my own characters and make my own stories. I'm gonna share one with you soon enough. Secondly, storytelling improves social skills and makes you a better communicator. I love to tell stories in my after school public speaking class. It's a place where I can learn about storytelling and listen to my friends' stories as well. We learn so much about each other from the exciting stories we share. Lastly, storytelling increases understanding and builds empathy. Reading and hearing about other places, other cultures, and other people tell us that we are more alike than we are different. They tell us that we experience the same emotions and they tell us that we are not alone. So whether it's your camp counselor sharing folk stories around a campfire, or your parents reading fairy tales before bed, or me standing here on this stage sharing my own story, stories connect us. They build bridges. They help us understand more about each other, and they help make sense of the world around us. In the beginning, my mom and my sister read a lot of books to me. But pretty soon, I was reading them on my own. I love picture books because pictures help tell the story. They also help me read faster. Lately, I'm really into graphic novels. They are a lot like picture books, but there are more pictures. Although the pictures are smaller, but there are more of them, with each scene having a series of pictures. You can easily tell what the characters are saying because the words are in speech bubbles. It's almost like seeing a cartoon or a movie on the page. Graphic novels can tell any kind of story. They can be historical or fantasy, science fiction, or even classics. My favorite graphic novel is Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy. It's a modern retelling of Little Women. You may have heard of it. It's a classic novel written by Louisa May Alcott. It was my interest in graphic novels that encouraged me to be a storyteller. Now, I may only be eight years old, but I've been told I've come across. I've even created my own stories, and I'm happy to share what I made with you today. I made a comic strip, just like in a graphic novel. You can see the characters I created. That's Amy, the one in the pink dress. She's a friendly, caring character in my comic. That's James, the one in the blonde curls. He's a shy but funny little character. And that's Christopher, the one in the yellow vest. He's an outgoing but very silly friend. The story is set in an outdoor park. I love spending time in nature, so that's why I want my characters to enjoy their time together. And of course, every good story has a moral or lesson behind it. The moral of my story is, you are unique, you have your own special characteristics, your own special talents, and your own special gifts. It's not only adults who can tell stories. Kids can be great storytellers, too. You, too, can be a storyteller. You don't need to join a class 
or be good at drawing to be a storyteller. When you tell your mom what happened at school today, you are telling a story. When your teacher asks you what you did last weekend, you are telling a story. And when you tell your best friend a secret, you're telling a story too. See, you're a natural storyteller. In any case, let me refresh your storytelling skills. There are three things every good story needs. Characters, a setting, and a plot. All stories have characters. All stories are focused around the characters. Your parents, siblings, or friends can be the characters. You could be the main character of your story. Or you can use your imagination and create your own. When you create characters, give them names, give them an identity, and build their character. Like I did with Amy, James, and Christopher. Secondly, all stories happen somewhere. This is the setting. And the setting can be in your school, in your home, or in a park or garden. My story was set in a park. But you're the storyteller, so you get to decide. You can set your story on another planet, under the ocean, or even inside of your mind. Lastly, all stories have a plot. What do you want to tell in your story? Is it an adventure, a journey of discovery, or feel good story with an important lesson? You get to decide. See how much fun storytelling is? Stories really are magical in the most beautiful sense. Even when we go to sleep, the mind stays up all night, making stories in our dreams. We are addicted to stories, and when we hear and absorb stories, they have the power to shape us. But when we tell stories, we have the power to shape the world around us. So what's your favorite story? What stories have shaped you? What's your story? Everybody has a story to tell. A story that has the possibility to create change, the potential to make a last impact, and the power to shape the world around us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.